What's up, you guys? So it's Layla Lynn, and I'm back with another video. In case you missed it, last night this video surfaced on social media of Tia Mowry doing an interview with the Associated Press, and the guy interviewing her is asking her about not telling her sister that she had a new reality show coming out. And Tia tried to make him believe that it's normal not to tell your sister, who's been in the entertainment industry with you, done reality shows with you, that you have your own reality show coming out. She tries to act like it's normal. So we're going to get into that in this video. And also, Laurel Howry talked about how him and Corey Hardrick just cried together about being parents. Like when Corey was going through his divorce and he took it very hard not having access to his kids the way he used to. He took it very hard. And Laurel Howry was talking about crying with Corey. So we're going to get into that as well. But first, if you're watching and if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and everybody click the thumbs up button. All right, you guys, so this is the interview with the Associated Press. Of course, you said that she didn't know that a reality show was coming out. You were doing yeah. one, so is there a reason why you didn't that's, tell her? That's normal. I mean, they're, they're, do you tell your, your brother and your sister everything? Well, I do tell them at any time I get a new job yeah. or something of significance. You know, it's, it's, it's something that just happens. I mean, I found out something about my brother the other day, and he didn't tell me. It's just... I feel like, you know, like I said, it, we have. This is significant. Yeah, but like I said, I think it's, it's normal, you know, for you not to tell everyone everything. It doesn't mean anything, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing loaded, you know, with that, I guess, um, you know, it is. She's living her life. I'm living my life. You know, we don't have to tell each other everything. And that's very normal. Or so you said that she didn't know that a reality show was coming out. You were doing yeah. one. So is there a reason why you didn't that's, tell her? That's normal. I mean, they're, they're, do you tell your, your brother and your sister everything? Well, I do tell them at any time I get a new job yeah. or something of significance. You know, it's, it's, it's something that just happens. I mean, I found out something about my brother the other day and he didn't tell me. It's just... I feel like, you know, like I said, it, we have. This is significant. Yeah, but like I said, I think it's, it's normal, you know, for you not to tell everyone everything. It doesn't mean anything, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing loaded, you know, with that, I guess, um, you know, it is. She's living her life. I'm living my life. You know, we don't have to tell each other everything. And that's very normal. All right, you guys. So you can see Tia like struggling. This is one of the few interviews where I've seen her like struggling because she seems so talkative and so verbose in her interviews. But she was really struggling when the guy was like, uh, yeah, I do tell my siblings if I get a new job, I do tell my siblings. And for her, it's weird because they're in the same industry. Not only are they siblings, but they're in the same industry. But at the same time, I get what she's saying when she says it's nothing behind it. And I don't think it's anything behind it. I don't think she was trying to like hurt her sister by not telling her. It, it doesn't seem like there's anything behind it. But it's just the fact of she didn't. She was doing her. And now she's struggling trying to explain that doing her included keeping a big secret like this from her sister. I'm not even sure if she told the rest of her family. But um, in the comments, people are responding like this person, Rodney, who said, I tell them when I get a new job get her <laughs> somebody else said this was hard to watch I guess it was hard to watch her struggle to answer the question but I am glad I like this comment because I am glad that the guy was like uh no that's not normal someone else said they aren't close and that's okay next someone said I like that the reporter said yeah I do tell my siblings <laughs> And someone else said, Tamara says she found out about the divorce when we did. So now I didn't see that. I didn't see that. You guys know that I report on Tia Tamara and um, I didn't see her say that. I saw her saying, you know, that Tia was going through everything she was going through privately. But I didn't see her say that she found out about the divorce in the media. But if y'all did see that somewhere, please send it to me. Send it to my um, DM me on Instagram, Layla Lynn underscore. All right. So the other thing I want to talk about was this. Lil Ra Howery recalls his emotional talk with Corey Hardrick in a sports bar amid his divorce. Tears coming out. 
They said Corey Hardrick and his ex-wife Tia Maori announced their separation after 14 years of marriage in October, it should be of 2022. During a panel at the seventh annual Black Love Summit on October 12th, the comedian Lil Rel opened up about his friendship with Corey Hardrick and how their genuine friendship has given them the room to be vulnerable after becoming quote unquote homies more recently. Lil Rel said, I know I knew you were going through some things. I just wanted to reach out to another dad, another brother, and we just talked. We met at one of the little sports bars I like to go to. We just sat there and we just talked. And he said one of his favorite qualities about Corey Hardrick is how much he loves his children. At the time of their conversation, Corey Hardrick was going through a divorce from his ex-wife Tia, with whom he shares son Cree, who is 13, and daughter Cairo, who is 6. And Lil Rel said, no matter what us adults are going through, we've got to consider how they're seeing it. I just thought it was beautiful, just with Black men talking about their children. We're in a sports bar having an emotional conversation, trying to watch the Lakers, tears coming out of our eyes. We are dads. <laughs> and Corey added, it was just me and you. If somebody walked by that window, they'd be like, what's going on in here? But it was just us. And Corey has said before that he was crying himself to sleep a lot when he was going through his divorce. He said he struggled for a year and a half after his divorce from Tia Maori. The Atlanta Black Star reports while sitting on it. This is a different panel when Divorce in the Black came out. Corey said, quote, it's tough when it feels like you're going through something alone and no one understands and no one's there for you. It's just like, you know, you're a man, especially like as a black man, you know, he's tough, he's strong. But, you know, it was a year and a half crying myself to sleep every night. Nobody sees that. You live five minutes away from your babies. You know what I'm saying? He went on to say, because people who know Corey Hardrick know that his kids and his family was everything to him. He said, I'm stronger than I thought I was. I'm really stronger. And that's by the grace of God, this guy. I'm here and I'm still going. So you might be thinking, you know, if you were Corey, if your family meant so much to you, why did you do something to compromise your marriage? Because so many people think that he cheated on Tia, but he has consistently denied cheating. And if you watch Tia's reality show, I'm starting to form the opinion that maybe he didn't cheat on her. She has not cleared his name. You know how sometimes people get divorced and they say, oh, it was no infidelity on either part. Like they clear each other's name. Tia hasn't done that, but I'm starting to wonder if she hasn't done that on purpose, like if she's trying to manipulate the public, but he's consistently said that he hasn't cheated. He said it in the comment section when someone said he cheated on her, he said lies, and he even said it in a live stream. In a live stream, he said never cheated, period. So there you go. You wanted your answer, so there you go. All right, so get back to your business. I ain't said nothing for eight months, but I just answered you right there. So that, there it is. So looking back, it just makes me wonder if Tia is a little like haphazard in the way she communicates sometimes when it comes to Corey Hardrick. But you guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the entire situation. As always, thanks for watching. Layla.